I can't believe it. I missed out. I missed out on the sale of Vidilook version 2. They had a 24-hour sale and you could buy packages and subscribe and become part of a wonderful community. If you don't know anything about Vidilook, all you do is you watch commercials on the internet and you get paid daily for it. Lots of people are making thousands of dollars and I missed out on the opportunity. They did a massive promotion. They got Scam Lee on board and they managed to get 3,000 people in one Zoom session. Would you believe it? They sold 2,000. Uh, they had 2,000 new subscribers and sold over 12,000 packages. Inconceivable. Anyway, Sam thought he'd drive over in his BMW in Dubai and visit the offices. And I've gone through and cleaned up all the video and I want to do a talk over it in the video so you can see how clever Sam is and how he handled the situation. A couple of things that are a little bit unusual though. Sam Lee's trying to get his We Are All Satoshi Ponzi scheme going and he can only get three and a half or 350 people in his Zoom meetings. All of a sudden... He likes to take the credit for helping Vidilook get 3,000 people in their Zoom meeting. It did look like he was trying to rub shoulders with other scammers so he could benefit and maybe some of those people would bounce over from Vidilook version 2 and then jump into his We Are All Satoshi Ponzi scheme. Now there is a couple of un unusual things which I do want to tell you. Vidilook is a Ponzi scheme. They had it running for six weeks, and then it all fell over. Then they told their community it was only a beta program and it should never have been released. And they've promised that people can transfer their money over to the new platform, so they say. But I've been reading through their Telegram groups and no one's been able to do it yet. And in fact, when you bought your new packages at half price, you could only use fresh USDT. And that's what all these scams are about. Now, the guy that looks like he's wearing the goggles sitting right next to me, his name is Rory. Oh, I've been practicing his name. I was hoping I was going to get it right. Rory. Now, Rory is from South Africa, and he is a lethal weapon when it comes to promoting, promoting multi-level marketing. And he used to be involved with Hyperverse really heavily, and now he's jumped ship and he's with the other side. And if you haven't been following all this, Kalpesh Patel doesn't like Sam Lee. So a lot of people have been bouncing back and forth uh, to each other's communities. But I want to show you this video and I want to show you how all these scams are connected. And you can see the multi-level marketers, which are the true thief, thieves, it's late at night, I'm slurring my words, uh, are the true thieves because as soon as someone invests in any of these platforms, these guys can take out the money you invest straight away, a, you know, a percentage of that money and put it straight back into their back pocket. So the scheme that they're selling isn't necessarily has to be investigated because it's all about getting those commissions and the affiliate payouts that they pay the people that push this stuff down your throat. So let's have a listen to the opportunity that was available. Rory was telling everyone not to miss out. Hi, everybody. So uh, just if you missed it, for 24 hours only, 50% off package one, package two, package three, package four. Start package one, two, three, four. Fifty percent off, starting an hour ago. You got twenty-three hours left. Uh -oh. What's taking place right now? There's an urgent strategy call for those people that actually want to grow the business. Tammy has just sent a message. It's happening right. There's Tammy. She used to be in Hyperverse every meeting. She used to be pushing it down people's throat. They lost about four billion dollars. And um, it's just funny that she's now promoting another Ponzi scheme. And there she is looking all dolled up. She's managed to do it here. That's lovely. Now, who doesn't want to grow their business and who doesn't want to uh, earn a bit of extra money? Hmm? Yep. And that's why Rory's trying to get you into the platform. Now, Sam is going to jump on that call Woo! and give you the strategy to make the most of it. Woo! It's up to you. Do you want to grow your business? Do you want to make a change in your life? Do you want to make some cash? Let's get going. Of course I don't. No, I don't want to do that. See you there. Okay, so here's Rory with Kalpesh Patel in Dubai. 
Here they are chilling out in his apartment on the 56th floor of some building. And there's our good old mate, yes, Keith Williams, who's claimed that he's got stage four cancer. And I found that he was going to be on a uh, hypernation uh, video uh, in December 2023, never turned up. I don't know what happened there, Keith, but I rest assure me, assure you, he has not got stage four cancer. It was all part of an exit strategy. He took the exit strategy money that was offered by Hypernation, and we've never seen him again. They offered him money if he would do a slow exit strategy for the community. Now, remember, he had been promoting, here we go, Hypercapital, Hyperfund, Hyperverse, Hypernation, Hypercosmos, and Hyperplanet. Yes, he's been promoting all those uh, those Ponzi schemes, and now he's disappeared, and he's told the community he's got stage four cancer. Oh, I hope he hasn't, but that does seem like a pretty hard hitting. But maybe, maybe it's never been publicised. Maybe his time is up. Who knows? But anyway, there he is with Rory. So that was Hyperverse Days. There they are. Now, the guy sitting between them two, I don't know who he is. And if you are and have subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that bell. I really appreciate your subscription. But also, you can go to my website, deheck.com, and you can submit information anonymously about these people that you see. Because I want to find out, I'm building a large database of all these Ponzi scheme promoters. Not just the big guys. I want to know anyone that's promoting these Ponzi schemes, anyone that's doing presentations in um, um, over Zoom. Because uh, if you don't know, I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. I earned that nickname by being in the New York Times. They did a whole featured article on my quest to name and shame anyone running a Ponzi scheme or a scam. And I'm out here, I'm building a database, and I'm joining all the dots together. And as soon as new Ponzi schemes start up, I want to be the first person to know who's behind it and the scam. And then I'm going to be able to warn and do a public, um, you know, a community sort of video telling people how to be cautious. And I've got some great people around me and um, I really want your help. I want a community of my own where we can spot these scammers before they start getting legs, as they say. Anyway, let's get on with the show. There he is. Roy went to the you know, Crypto Expo. Well, we said Oop. we'll get 3,000 people in a room, right? Until 3,000 people are ready to party, the party cannot start. 2,300. So if everybody... See, in video look version 2, we're only at about 2,300 people in their Zoom meeting. So then Sam Lee thought he would jump in his car and drive to his offices. He even claims that he owns the building that they're in, which you will see, which is really unusual because I didn't think anyone in Dubai could actually own any real estate. I thought that the government owned it and they lease it back to you. So I could be wrong, but uh, he did say this is his building, which did seem a bit strange. Anyway, we'll get into that. He's in his BMW and he's driving and he does drop his phone, so don't be alarmed. Just bring a friend, uh, we'll hit 5,000. Uh, but you know what? We can't even fit 5,000 here. So some of them are gonna miss out. They should close YouTube and join Zoom. It's like, it's like, um, you know, uh, watching the game or, uh, you know, live or watching from a Jumbotron, okay? You could watch it from the Jumbotron of YouTube or you could watch it live. Have you ever heard of that expression before? A Jumbotrot? Is that trot? Oh, I haven't heard of that one before. Well done, new words. Pretty cool, Sam. <laughs> right here in Zoom. Number-wise, everybody's enjoying Crypto Winner, right? Everybody's enjoying Crypto Winner. Now, it gets a bit shitty here, and I do warn you there's a bit of profanity at the very end of this video. But people, he's in the chat room, and he's in video look. Now, he did offer everyone who lost all their money in video look beta, which they didn't know it was a beta, uh, even though they released it and had people and they took their money. Um, so people don't like Sam because Sam said he was going to help people get their one times money back, which means basically if you put $100 in, he was going to come up with a strategy to get your $100 back so you didn't lose. Not not any of the uh, money that you've done by watching all these videos. I just want to quickly flip into uh, video look so you can sort of see what it's all about, what it basically looks like. I'm not going to do a, a full Yahoo um, sort of thing about it, but I just wanted to go down here and I wanted to show you that they claim that they have a hundred plus partners and they claim that Google ads, Instagrams, TikTok, 
uh, Twitter, Yahoo, and Facebook are actually partners of theirs. And this is just total lies. And what, what the game is, because every Ponzi scheme has to make out that they actually have a product or a service, but they don't. And what you do is when you sign up in here, you have to watch, you can buy different level memberships, right? And when you buy these different level memberships, uh, you have to watch a certain amount of adverts each day. And if you watch these adverts, then they will give you a reward. And it's sort of capped as well. I think the first one, I haven't looked at the memberships because I missed out, said I didn't get to see the sale. But they did have membership plans that were $1,500. And if you invested $1,500, you could actually, I think, you could earn $75 a day or maybe a week. It was a lot of money. But you had to work for it. You had to actually make sure that you watch these adverts. And they tell you that they have, I think, advertisers paying people to watch their adverts and they're quite happy. And that's why you can get the good returns. However, if I was an advertiser, I heard that people were running the ads and then walking away from their computer and not watching them diligently. So that was where it probably fell over. I don't know. But anyway... It all had it had problems, and I don't know if they had a hacker, but they normally do. And then they said to everyone they're going to start up version 2. But they hadn't fixed up all the money problems in the beta version. They've just fixed and ironed out all the, all the, the buttons. Now, when I watched um, the actual long video, um, I'll just put that back to where it should be. When I actually uh, watched the long video, the one of the guys, which I've forgotten his name, which I've started collecting information on, was telling us that they've got a whole list of new platforms coming out soon. And it looks like Sam actually rents them their office, but it doesn't make sense. But something that Sam's trying to make out, he's one of the big guys, <laughs> but he's just little wee Sam. Do you know why there is winter and there is summer? Okay, winter is when you move slow. Summer is when you move fast. Okay, so it's okay to be a little bit slow. And, uh, oh, sugar, I dropped you guys. Give me a sec. You're it's okay, okay to be a little bit slow. Are you okay, Sam? Especially when you're driving. Okay, whilst talking to a community of over 2,000. I actually think Sam's an Uber driver. 500 people. And so, um, yes, this is my BMW. I drive it on occasion. I am in the always sunny Dubai here um, in more specifically turning in from the freeway now into Silicon Oasis okay and you know what uh, you know what what is funny right yeah. they just dug a hole in the ground oh. filled it up with water and oh, then oh, they oh. called it an oasis right oh. uh, or else they would just call this place desert <laughs> more desert oh, God, man, you're <laughs> but funny. digging a hole filling it with water yeah. and calling it an oasis you know brilliant moves okay great strategy um guys come on and, and uh I wonder if they'll let you be one of their chairman there um sam i think we're still stuck at what 20, uh, 2600 people sam you need to get to the office and help video look build their numbers they're stuck at 2600 people in their zoom meeting and they need you to go there and boost numbers you can do it remember you're good for 350 uh, people in your Zoom meeting, so that would mean you're only going to be 50 short. I wonder what you can do about that. Um, you know, I'm looking at some messages online, right? Uh this is where people in the chat room, which I didn't quite finish my story, the people in the chat room see Sam there and they're going after him like he's uh, like a bull because he's ripped a lot of people off and they're abusing the shit out of him and he's uh, getting pissed off by it. Doesn't like the negative comments and it comes out if you watch the whole two hour video, which unfortunately I had to, he's getting really grumpy with people who are, who are giving it to him in the chat room. <laughs> um, if anyone is still uh, being very disappointed uh, by me, okay, uh, I, I have last week shared my passport with everyone. Okay, you and you might have seen that on the thumbnail. Now, uh, at the beginning of this video yep that's uh, I don't know why you would share your passport but I did figure it out he doesn't need it anymore you see because he's trapped inside Dubai because he can't go to any other country in the world because if he wasn't a scammer like he keeps saying um, then he would travel back to Australia but no Australia doesn't want him anymore well they do want him <laughs> he's a wanted man because he listed his company Blockchain Global on the Australian share market it took three attempts, but he got there eventually. And then when they raised fifty thousand dollars, all of a sudden, would you guess it? A laptop that had all the all the keys to all the crypto went disappeared, and so did Sam and Ryan Drew. They disappeared for eight months. No one found them. It was only when he got himself settled in Dubai, he popped up when he released Stable Deo. 
Um, so um, now he can't travel, so that's why I think you don't need your passport anymore. So it doesn't really matter if you show people your passport, just in case you thought I got his passport. I seem to get quite a few passport, fo- passport photos sent my way. I don't know why people think I like that sort of information can actually go to the authorities with whatever evidence you can gather online mm. and present it uh, against me, all right? Uh, go for it, right? If people right. are giving you trouble for what I've done, mm. then just tell them to go after me, okay? I'm waiting. I'm waiting, guys, okay? Waiting? Okay. Well, w- why don't you come back to Australia? But guess what? You can't find anything, okay? Oh, no, no. We've got quite a bit, actually. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how much information that people have about you, Sam. You're just the one you know, running away from um, Australia with $50 million. That was the first one. Hey, because I've done everything according to what I promised. Okay, oh, sure. so oh, please, sorry. this is not a call to go and be negative again. All right, we've already done what? Negative three, negative two, negative one. Today's day zero, okay? Today's day zero, and Steve says he thinks he's smart. Okay, great. I think, I can, I, I think I'm think i pretty smart. I think I am pretty smart, okay? Is, is, is it a crime to be smart, okay? Is it a crime to be so smart that I'm the educator that goes around telling regulators and authority how to bring criminals to justice i would really like to have some proof of that these regulators that you're talking about that you've talked about quite a lot who are they and where do you meet them Um, and and regulators of what is it like you know toilet paper because that's what you write your contracts on isn't it Hey, promise notes. Okay, so I do think I'm smart. Regulators do think I'm smart too, okay? So, you know what? You have two choices. You either think I'm smart and come follow me to make some money, or you could just leave. But I don't see people leaving. I only see, okay? I only see people joining. And you know what? As someone in... Because this is like free comedy. This is like a comedy show, and you just tune into a Zoom meeting and listen to Idiot Sam. I'm getting sick of doing these Sam videos, I must say. I wish there's some other scammers out there. This chat says, hey, you know, Sam's inaccessible. Hang on, l- l- let me ask you, right? <clears throat> let me ask you this. Let me put my car on park first. Okay, let me ask you this. Since when did I hide? You guys all have my WhatsApp. You guys have my contact details, okay? You- uh, yeah, but I've heard that people have been contacting you and you just don't answer. <laughs> so what's the point? guys now okay you guys know you guys now know that i'm one of the largest tenants of beautiful silicon oasis in dubai i'm also one of the largest tenants in many other cities wow what a claim so sam lee in dubai and other areas of united emirates sam lee is one of the largest tenants so you got that right because you can't own property in dubai so i've been told but you you, if you want a building, you have to go to the um, the royal family and tell them what you want to do. They will build you a building and then they will lease it back to you. So that's how it works. So being the largest tenant in the United Arab, well, one of the largest is pretty pretty good tall talk there, Sam. Have you got any proof of that? Around the Middle East. And I'm also one of the largest tenants in many cities around the world. Okay? We- wow, I've never heard of you, mate. Well, come on. That's because you guys think we work is large. But you know who's more profitable? I run a really profitable real estate portfolio. Here I am. This is one of my buildings. So there he is saying a straight out lie. Because there he is saying this is one of his buildings. So he's, if you put that through chat GPT, and you said, what does that statement mean? That would be saying he's claiming that he is the owner of the building behind him. However, if he's in the United Arabs, I could be wrong. Can someone tell me in the comments section? Are you allowed to own property in the United Arabs? I don't think you are. So he's claiming that he owns that building behind him. He's a big guy. He must be part of the royal family. And I'm going to walk in there right now to Ooh. catch up with Vivek and Conrad. And you can also take the car, all right? Once you're here, take the car. Take it for a spin. Yes, sir. Just let it get to 3000 We made a promise. You guys are here to make some money and also change the lives of you and people around you. Well, get educated. Get smart, okay? I think I'm smart. You guys are listening, so... I- if you say it enough time, Sam, we will believe you. Assuming you guys think I'm smart, all right? Because why? Why would you spend time listening to someone stupid? Okay. 
because I want to show people that you're stupid. I want to broadcast around the world that Sam Scam Lee is a criminal and anything that he promotes is just out there to support the multi-level marketers who are stealing money from mum and dad investors. And I will do anything I can to create awareness and I'm not going to let it happen. Okay, that's why, Sam. Hey, so if you think I'm smart, bring a friend, bring a friend, listen in, okay? Get plugged in and understand how money's lost and how money's made in this world and get on the winning side of making money. Is it really, though, all about money? I mean, these guys, you know, like a lot of the Ponzi schemes I bust, a lot of people, I used to think they were greedy. Um, But after COVID and people have lost a lot of money, even I lost my, my business, and that's why I'm doing these videos, um, people are struggling at the moment. And I believe a lot of people invest in these Ponzi schemes because it's out of desperation. And these guys are certainly not doing it out of desperation. They're doing it out of greed. And I, that's something I just don't like seeing these guys. I mean, is life all about money? Is the guy with the most money, is the one with the gold the one that makes the rules? I mean, I don't have much money at the moment, but I have a pretty cool lifestyle. And, uh, you know, I'm in a loving relationship. I live in a nice house. Um, you know, I, I, I'd be honest, I do worry about money, but I mean, is it really just all about getting rich at all cost, killing all your friends along the way? We're not killing them, but you know, walking over as many people as you can to get rich. Okay, because I always make money. I don't steal money. Stealing is when I lie, cheat and steal. Okay. Uh, he lies, cheats and steals. One of the videos I was watching today, he was saying it's okay to say a little lie. It's just the lies get bigger and bigger, don't they, Sam? Okay, if I don't lie, if I don't cheat, and you lose money, okay, that means you haven't been listening to me, okay? I'm coming for you. What did he say? This is a video look <laughs> right? Okay, great. I'm coming in. So, how many are we left from 3,000? Is it going to be staying at 2.9K forever? Uh, are you going to just let more delays happen in your life forever? Bring a friend. Uh, I need to take a photo. <laughs> there. Okay, they got to 3,000. Congratulations, Viddy Look 2. 2,000 people subscribed and they sold 12,000 packages. Oh my goodness. It's so sad that people actually believe this crap. That's why I'm doing these videos. Okay, done. All right. I'm going to send this to my Telegram group. There it is. That's the photo we just took. Uh, let me send it to which one? Uh, I, have, I have so many. If you guys have a Telegram group, I could actually join that Telegram group. Yeah. I, I, okay, so I... In fact, I do have a Telegram group. If you go to the top of this video, uh, this my YouTube channel, you will see there's an icon there uh, for my Telegram group. Um, it's called the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Please come along, help us fight these criminals. I'm going to send it to... We sent this into the high tea with Sam Lee um, Telegram group. You um, can visit it by just going to t.me slash tea with Sam. Oh. I got kicked out of We Are All Satoshi... I think it was a We All Satoshi group. Well, it might have been Sam's one today because I was trying to promote one of my videos I did of them. Sorry about that. <laughs> they kicked me out. <laughs> yeah. So if we could also post the T group, okay? So what I do... So just think about this. This is not Sam's Ponzi scheme. This is his colleague's Ponzi scheme. And he probably used hypertech um knowledges or hypertech group uh to create the platform so he's come along while they're doing a launch and now he's telling them to um people the three thousand people in the zoom meeting that he believes that he's helped build he's now telling the people in the room to make sure they're sharing the links in the chat room of his enterprises so it's kind of like you know he's trying to steal other people's communities and that's why he's gone after everyone with Hyperverse, telling the people that he'll help them get their one times back. And just a couple of three days ago, he actually said that he's going to start up Hyperverse again. Now, he claims that he was working with Hyperverse to help get people's one times back. I have proven that he is part of corporate with Ryan Jew, Jaden Wee, and himself. And there's also two Kevins that were um, the chief financial officer was one of them. And when I researched him, um, he was massive. He was like a Donald Trump, like the Chinese mafia sort of style. So 
There's a lot of contradictions, especially when you've been watching these videos for the last 18 months like I have. I looked at my YouTube channel. I think I've published over 450 videos. I didn't think it was that many. I always say 250. But I've gone to town on these guys, and I'm starting to know Sam Lee better than he knows himself. So my point is, don't trust these guys. And obviously, um, they are all in bed together. And Sam doesn't even seem like he's loyal to his colleagues by trying to steal their communities. And that's the only reason he's got in his car and driven over there, because he would have seen the numbers building in that Zoom meeting and thought, I better get my face in front of that camera and build those relationships with people. Hopefully most people think Sam's an idiot, hence why he can only get 350 people in his Zoom meeting. And they're probably all inflated. Now, while I'm on my, my high channel, I'm going to say this. He has been telling people to write promise notes. Now, a promise note, he's telling people that they need to pay for their friends or their family members' account. Now, I heard today in um, Yvonne Henry's uh, group that one person was, um, they had their membership fee paid for by someone else, and then they signed up for the left leg and the right leg. So they actually managed to get $200 out of a person, even though they gifted them the membership account. That person introduced two new people to the platform. And one of those persons invested $50,000. And they said, see the $100 money that you're paying so you can create accounts, accounts for your friends and family is nothing because of the potential. Now, if somebody did sign up for $50,000, they would have received a big pocket of change from the referral fees. And that's the scam. It's not whether Sam Lee, it's not whether Viddy Look is doing the right thing. It's all about the multi-level marketers. They are the ones that are taking the money out of the platform today. As soon as you put your money in, it goes straight out. Now, Hyperverse, $300 was the membership fee. And they claim, which I don't believe, 1.5 million people signed up for it. That's $4 billion. Literally, $2.2 billion could have been, probably was, taken out of the platform before it even got to the corporate people who create all these schemes. So it's just disgusting. Let's carry on. Is If I find five minutes in the day, I'll drop a Zoom link, okay, and you guys can join, right? Now, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. But uh, that's that's part of the fun, right? Yeah. Um, and if you guys want a recording of what I talk about, you guys have to record it because I unfortunately have a free Zoom account on my phone. You know, uh, my life is revolving around not paying for anything. Wow, that's amazing, Sam. So you get a free Zoom account and you can't record on it. Okay, well, I pay for mine. It costs me $20 a month and I can record on mine. Why don't you just pay for it like everyone else? And then you can record. Ooh. Okay, uh, because that's how I learn, right? So he's the man. He's the man. Remember, he's hijacked somebody else's community. He's in front of somebody else's community with 3,000 people in it, 10 times, 10x, <laughs> 10 times the amount of people he normally gets. And now look at him. He's trying to be the man. He's the man. My free Zoom account does not have recording. Oh. What I'm trying to say is, and when what I'm trying to do is. <clears throat> Asking everybody, okay, okay. Uh, that we have momentum. This is real. Okay. 3,000 people watching is done, okay? And Do you think he's got his pants on? <laughs> Just asking. And it is 6.30. It is 6.30 yeah. uh, UAE time. Um, people are wanting to join now. They cannot join now because it's full. Yeah. Okay. What does that mean? I know, um, ooh, what do they do? They do that one, or is that, no, that one there, I think that means crypto, but I don't know what that one means. Does that mean join? That is what life should be. It should be full, okay? Yeah. Yeah. And it can only be full if we're all together, okay. moving together. Just hold hands. Okay, so now that we've hit 3,000, no, no, I could, well, I, I could squat, I could squat. Are you gonna charge me for this chair? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, so the guy that was running the presentation um, gave up and finished up giving Sam his chair. And I haven't got him in the video because I just want to focus on Sam. Scam. Scam. Scrambly. Um, actually, I should do a, a, a special thing with it. What could I say? Scamly. Scamly. Looks like Pinnacky Knock. 
Scambly. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to practice that. Oh, and I did hear, um, I did hear a good phrase somebody mentioned who commented on one of my videos today, and they said, we are all suckers. I quite like that. Instead of, we are all uh, s Satoshi. <laughs> We're all suckers. Mm. Well, anyone that signs up has to be, really. But, you know, this isn't the young investor. This is the mum and dad investors. Uh, these people that I've got around me in this photo here, I uh, just got them off Canva. Uh, they're not the people in the Zoom meeting. Um, and also, Zoom's a fun thing. It's been great when we were all locked down over, over COVID and we could ring up our friends and family. And I ran my business networking company and I had Zoom meetings going. It was a real comfort at the time. It's just a shame it's been exploited by people. What? Yeah, I mean, come on. Uh, I made a commitment to 3x yeah. your community, okay? It is 3x. It's, it's 3x, yeah. you know? <laughs> we, we got to 1,000 last time, right? Yeah. And so, so this is 3,000, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so guys, we did it. Yeah. 3x. <laughs> <laughs> You're my hero. You know, you know what's going to happen next? We're going to go for 9K. 9K users, and it's going to be a marathon because I don't think we have a large community. I don't think we have a large community. You know, uh, we're going to try and go for 9K. But, you know, I don't think we have a large community. What will happen? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I know what will happen, Sam. Yep, you'll hear those noises. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we have to try. We have to try to go for 9,000 in the next zoo. Definitely, really cool. Really cool. Uh, okay, because uh, look, I'm not here to give you financial advice, but I am a financial advisor. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you can. Obviously, I've watched this a few too many times while I was putting it together. Sue me. It's totally cool, all right? But my objective is we need to drive things forward because the future does not wait. Okay, it is coming. It is coming. You're going to be a part of it. But are you going to be a part of a shitty future or an amazing future, right? That's on you. I tried. I tried my absolute best to wake you up, okay? But without further ado, you take the floor. I, I said I won't be talking as much today because, um, yeah. Uh, I, I, okay, thank you, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> There's not only a market of a billion people, the one billion people are taking, on average, 3,000 steps a day. That's three trillion steps. That's the market share. Okay, so there's something else I forgot to tell you. Vidi, look. Even if you exercise and you just do your daily exercise, they have a, um, a widget or something that you can do and you can earn money when you exercise. It's just the perfect plan, Vidi. Look, make sure you invest and wait for another sale. Ironically, which I'll do at the end, I'll tell you All right, the story. We want a share of 3,000, sorry, 3 trillion steps a day to generate movement on the ground that we are now creating value on. So, hey, I, well, but what I know, I'm just a tech guy. Listen to Alex. Tune in to Alex. It's, Alex is gonna drop some bombs on, um, what is it? Wednesday? Wednesday, Wednesday six o'clock. Okay, done. I'll okay. see you guys there. And fuck you. Whoa, where did that come from? That's how he talks to people in the community that um, go in the, there and do stuff. To upset them. Now, uh, what did I want to say? I did have something intelligent to say. Um, I don't know, really. These platforms might seem enticing. Uh, not necessary. It's like a is a bell necessary on a bike. You don't need to get involved. Um, the bigger picture. I think I've explained it a few times. I did have something interesting to tell you. Uh, just remember when Viddy look came out it lasted six or eight weeks people invested i did hear they had ninety thousand people who might have invested in it uh, somebody made a whole lot of money and then they obviously um all the money and the withdrawals ceased really quick and then they claimed that there were people out there that you could get your initial investment back um that's why people don't like sam in the community there because he did claim that um, he would help people get their one times money back, which means if you put a hundred bucks in, you'll get a hundred bucks back. That has never happened. None of the Ponzi schemes that claim to get your money back actually do. Um, we've got uh, the Hyperverse, um, we've got um, Clayton Ford, and um, I think it's Rodney Hedburn. 
Um, I might be getting the name, his name wrong, but both of them are running Zoom meetings and they're claiming that they're going to do a class action lawsuit against Hyperverse. And in the meantime, they've asked you to sign up for a credit card, which um, I've forgotten the name of the credit card. And we've had people do a deep dive with Visa and MasterCard to see if there's any authenticity in their actual card. And they they wrote back a statement claiming that there is no connection with them and it's a total fraud. So what, what they're literally doing is there'll be some company out there that's produced a credit card where people sign up and get a commission. So these um, VIP fives um, leaders are still trying to manipulate and get the last bit of money out of all these people. So that's what happens. You know, it's, it's common practice. Sam um, got everyone to sign up um, for Stable Deo, claiming that he was going to help them get their money out um, of Hyperverse, and that's total rubbish because he is Hyperverse. Now, I have said it many times, but Kalpesh Patel sent me a message on WhatsApp, and he said, I'm just as bad as Sam Lee. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, you were telling people lies by telling people that I was making a million dollars a day out of Hyperverse before it collapsed. And I said, well, how much money were you actually making? And he said he wouldn't say. And I said, well, I might as well keep with my original story if you don't tell me. It's always fascinating to know how much money. However, he's gone to Dubai to live. He used to live in the UK. Remember, Kalpesh Patel has been locked up for 12 months before. He got done for fraud. Um, there was $25 million. There was 12 investors. He admitted he was guilty. He got a fine for, I think it was £330,000. And he also got imprisoned for 12 months. And then when he got back on the streets, if you search for Kalpesh Patel, you'll see there's a whole article um, in the UK Mirror saying that Superman returned. And he's got a, um, every, if you go onto the YouTube and look for nuts and bolt training, you'll see that he's got um, Grandpa Crypto, he's got um, Sharon James, um, and um, he's got Tizzy um, Taylor, um, and he's got a lot of the people that have been around these, and they're all off promoting We We Global. Now, if you have a look at the bottom of, I don't know if my background's going to work, so excuse me if this goes wrong. If you have a look at that picture at the bottom, and you go from left to right. You've got um, Diego, you've got Bitcoin Rodney, um, you've got Des Amy, um, and there's it just keeps going. Brenda Chanda, you've got uh, uh, Smart. What's her name again? Whitney Smart, um, Susan Lawrence. Now you know the, the whole row of people there. These are all people that have been heavily involved in promoting Ponzi schemes. They, when Hyperverse crashed, they basically went off and started promoting Novatech FX. And then you had Wee Wee Global, uh, Kalpesh Patel started promoting one called GS Partners. And now he's promoting one called Data Bank. And I've heard that they are, they are starting to have problems for people withdrawing. And then obviously you've got Vidilook, you've got them promoting that. And now you've got um, uh, Stable Deo. And then you've got uh, We Are Satoshi. Um, and, you know, and as I said earlier on, you know, they started off one called um, uh, Hyper Tech Group and then it was Hyper um, Capital and then Hyper Capital started getting called a Ponzi scheme. So they renamed that to Hyper Fund and then it went to Hyper Nation and Hyperverse, um, Hyper Planet, Hyper Cosmos and uh, I think they've even got Hyper Store. And then just the other day they claimed that they were shutting down the smart contract and that basically meant all the uh, HVT money that was in there that people were collecting and trading was absolutely worth 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, whatever it was and worth nothing. And they were shut down and then Sam's come along and said that he managed to stop them from shutting down the smart contract, whatever that means. I'm not really uh, au fait with that. But what I'm trying to get at is every single one of these schemes is global and it's very hard to stop them so don't let these guys get traction you know a lot of people think they're cleverer than the ponzi scheme they go what you got to do and you'll see youtube videos and they'll tell you is that you've just got to get your initial investment back so you put a hundred bucks in the first thing you're doing is just make sure you get your hundred bucks back and then they encourage you strongly to go along to the zoom meeting so sam is telling people um, to pay other people's hundred dollars to get them in on the conditions that they attend the Zoom meetings. So they're inflating the Zoom numbers um, to create hype. 
And if you go like a, if you go back to my other videos, I'm just going to flip on to, hopefully I've got them, I haven't done this for a wee while, so I've got browser mode. And now I'm going to go to my web browser. But if you go to my um, YouTube channel, you know, I've done all these videos, but I've done, I think, about seven videos on Sam Lee at the moment. Um, then we've got Luna One, Fourth Star. I'm going through all the Hyperverse videos that I got from the Hyper community. And I'm just, at the moment, I've got 15 more to do. And I'm just working on number six at the moment. Uh, I've got Stephen McCullough. That guy tried to sue me for defamation for 38 million dollars in the New Zealand High Court. Uh, he now has to pay my legal fees because he filed for a discontinuance about three weeks ago. So it's quite recent. Um, and, you know, like there's just a whole history of things. I even did a, um, a shaving commercial, which is actually quite good. But often in there we provide a lot of advice. I believe a lot of people are quite desperate at the moment. So if you go through my videos, you'll find that I even got a uh, guy that helped people with loneliness and um, he's wrote a book about suicide prevention because when you lose all your money and you lose all your friends, um, literally it's a very sad affair. You know, people like Pinnicky Nark, I haven't heard from him for ages. So any information about him would be, um, you know, welcomed. And I'm just quickly going to show you the database and the uh, extent that I'm actually going to. I use a program called Millinote. And in here, I've actually catalogued every Ponzi scheme I've heard of. And then I also have built a list of all the people. So, well, this is a good place to start. So this is all the screenshots of all the people who are actually doing presentations for We Are All Satoshi at the moment. And they're global. I, I need your help. If you go to my website, you'll see I have a Contact Us page. And on that Contact Us page... Uh, I have a form where you can basically submit as much information as, as you like anonymously. But I need to know what country these guys are from. I've taken screenshots of people that are attending the Zoom meetings. And I've also built quite a large database of those type of people. And I've also gone through all the videos that they've published. And that's just one of the Ponzi schemes that I look at. Uh, if you went to... Um, Let's see, if I went to the multi-level marketers of this one, I'm building a database of each person that's heavily involved. This is one lady called Kate. She's an Australian lady. Um, I found out where she lives. I found her home address. I found her mother and her, her uh, sister because she said that she got involved with Hyperverse at the start and felt hopeless because her um, uh, family got involved in it. But, I mean, why I'm mentioning those sort of people is they are rampant. Uh, they this That particular lady hasn't been involved in about 10 other Ponzi schemes. And when she was shown us the We Are Satoshi presentation, she flipped onto her bookmarks and we could see all the names of the Ponzi schemes that she's been involved in. So she's fully aware of what she's doing. And she's out there and she showed us the back end of We Are All Satoshi. And she was showing us in real time that she was actually withdrawing um, money as people were putting it in. So she'd had 42 people that had she had signed up that actually funded their accounts of real money. And then she showed us that she was withdrawing money today. Now, the whole platform of We Are Satoshi, which is Sam Lee's, is designed that 30% of your money that you put in goes into a Horizon vault. And that vault is theoretically used. The capital in there is used to buy Bitcoin at a reduced rate. Even though it's worth 30 odd thousand at the moment, Sam Lee's telling people that he has a discount um, code and he can get Bitcoin at a reduced rate. So he's buying as much as he can with your money, technically, and then he reckons that Bitcoin is going to be worth five, uh, $100 in 500 days. And at that time, because he's going to have so much Bitcoin, he believes that it's going to be scarce and it's going to be worth a lot of money, like gold. And, um, and then he's going to share it with the community and give back their tokens. Now, any platform I've been following for the last whatever months, um, the tokens are always worth nothing. I mean, Luna One was one that the guy that was trying to sue me for $3.8 million, he did a three-month marketing campaign with the Run guys. They did videos every day about how you could buy um, XLN tokens for $0.15 cents each. Because on market day, they were going to be launched at 25 cents each. So going by their stats, 11,000 people actually participated in the pre-sale. 
And 45 of those people, I had two th- come to me a couple of days ago, have actually invested up to $800,000. So just 42 people, 45 people now, have invested $810,000. Uh, and then on market day, they released a coin at $0.05 cents each. And then within 24 hours, that was worth $0.01 cent each. And also when they did the tokens in a pre-sale, they, I think they deliver them in what they call airdrops. The people that purchased the tokens never got delivered the tokens. So even if they wanted to sell them at a loss on market day, they had nothing to sell. So it was total fraud. So I did a whole, um, I did a four hour, 47 minute long video, um, you know, um, about this guy, Stephen McCullough, because it was absolutely um, atrocious. And I'm just going to show you something and I'll use that, um, that video as an example. But when you are looking at one of my videos, because I do specialize at doing long form videos. If you go down to the bottom here, you'll see a description and then you've got show more. And if you click on show more, you can come down here and in the words here, you can see I've got it all timestamped. But if you scroll right to the bottom, there's the chapters. And if you click view all, then you can basically um, go straight to the part that you actually want to go to. And not only that, you can actually click on the share button and then you can copy that link and it will share that exact part of the video that you're looking at. So when I was doing the video last night, I was up to 4 a.m. publishing a video. Uh, I did this video now if you go into about um, Sam Lee. It said, exposing the shocking truth behind Sam Lee's promise note. We are all Satoshi. And the same deal is you can go to show more and in here, I've gone through and I've highlighted all the really good bits, like when Sam goes to brush his teeth. And down the bottom, once again, you can see view all. And let's go and have a look at... Um, now, I was talking to... Well, I wasn't talking to him, but I was messaging John Banksdale. And he was telling me I used him in his video. Um, and I said, yeah, I did. Um, now, he's currently... Um, he hasn't done anything. Well, he's been charged with crypto security fraud and this was back in 2019 he hasn't been locked up and he's not in jail but he's been charged for it so he was telling me that uh, he's still fighting he believes he's got a good case and he's uh, feels like he's on top of the case so he might not actually be locked away for what he got arrested for however what i was getting at last night was obviously sam lee is hanging around people that may be doing some dubious stuff don't know how to say that any nicer john no 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 offense there but also i wanted to show you you can go down to sam here and it's got brushing the teeth so you just click to that part and a big argument i have here why is somebody who claims to be a a billionaire got his toothbrush right beside him on his computer screen it does look like he's living in a small apartment that we never really see all right, so that's me. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'm Danny DeHeck, a.k.a. the Crypto Ponzi Scheme Avenger. Please do like and subscribe and do all those wonderful things. It really does make a difference. If you like my videos and you found it interesting, do the decent thing and hit the thumbs up. It really does help Google know that you like my videos and it sends them out to the masses. Hey, thank you for watching.